I'm posting this as a reply to a video, but it's actually a reply to one of the comments in the video that I'm replying to. I'm not sure if it's clear. It's a reply to Magic205, with he commenting uh, the video about uh, me building a um, nanotube. He says, very funny, thank you. Uh, the excitement you had was like a kid at Christmas time. Well, it was like Christmas having that. <laughs> now, what would you build if money and time were no object? Mm, well, I don't know. Um, mm, I don't know. But anyways, I like your idea. He says, I would like to build a T4 bacterial fag. Atom by atom. You imagine how big that is? <laughs> you said what the T4 is. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes. The T4 is a virus and it's normally around uh, 200 nanometers long and 100 nanometers uh, wide. Okay. I have here a 6-6 six six, uh, carbon nanotube. We can measure the diameter and it's around. 21, 22 centimeters. In reality, a 6 cis carbon nanotube is 8.14 Armstrongs. Knowing the relationship between the real diameter of a 6 cis carbon nanotube and the diameter of the Molymod model, we can calculate how big will it be, the T4 virus. And the answer is. <laughs> The size of an Olympic swimming pool! Huge! It will be 50 meters long and 25 meters wide. <laughs> Imagine a T4 in your swimming pool! You first have to have an Olympic swimming pool in your place! <laughs> what about bacteria? Let's take the E. coli, which is 2 micrometers long for 0.8 micrometers uh, wide. It's kind of cylindrical. Okay, if we make an E. coli atom by atom, it will be twice the size of the Eiffel Tower. Twice! Imagine going to Paris and see this big, big E. coli next to the Eiffel Tower. That's so scary. Big as what? <laughs>